very exciting. Um, I'm, you know, essentially a bike enthusiast that has, um, through the excitement of my own racing, um, decided to build a team. And um, I think we've been embraced really well by the paddock. You know, it's new blood in, in any sport is good. Healthy professional competition in, in, in all sports is, is good. And um, that's what we're here to do, not mess around, but to go out there and do a serious job. Very exciting, you know, coming through Dartford Tunnel yesterday from Essex, because I'm just up the road. You know, driving through there and sort of thinking I'm actually going there to to unlock a truck and, and set loose a couple of bikes. It wasn't a complete sporting moment. I didn't have tears, but yeah, it felt great. It felt, it felt a great achievement. It's been a lot of work. I can't tell you how much work it's been to get here. You have to, you have to take your hat, hat off to all the other teams that make it here year after year, because it, it's not an easy process. Now with two riders in British Supersport, one in Evo being Steve, one in the full championship being James. It's been quite a difficult weekend up to now. Uh, we've had quite a lot of bad weather and a few crashes and such like. Everything's new to the team, but we're getting there now. Um, hopefully today's another day and let's we'll see how we get on. They're off. This is the oh. motor point British Super Sport Championship. Elbow to elbow down the hill into Paddock Hill Bend. Paddock, is he late enough? Not on this lap. Gowland goes through, and I think he needs to do oh. that. Might give Dixon the chance to uh, to get past him as well. One of them moves out the way, and Irwin manages to do them both. So does Jones. Does the other guy? No! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 11th place for Rispoli on his, uh, the debut, his debut in a first full season on the Suzuki. Yesterday was pretty torrential and uh, it was pretty rainy. It was my second rain race ever and we came from really far in the back of the, the pack and we, we moved right to the front and uh, got down to, I think, 10th place. Really good. We're chasing setup at the moment. We lost the first day here at Brands, the test day, but uh, you know, we're just, just keep moving forward, keep chipping away. The sun's out now. It uh, sorted itself out from yesterday. The weather was absolutely horrendous yesterday, but we all made it through. A bit of a difficult qualifying session. Uh, slid off on the second lap of, of qualifying, so that put me at the back of the grid for the race. But we worked our way through, up into eighth, into the Evo. Difficult with the conditions again. It was very, very slippery, but we got to work to, uh, you know a little way up there. So that's all good. The sun's out now, so hopefully we'll have a better day today. But here he is on pole position. Needs that start. Look how aggressive Glenn Irwin looks in the middle of the grid on that bright green and orange gear in Kawasaki. And Foley riding for Keith team in 13th place and Steve Mercer in 15th overall. Well, the race didn't go as, as we planned. We're still trying to find a base setup. We're still, you know, trying to learn the, the new tires and stuff like that. Other than that, you know, we're going to take the positives from this. Uh, we got a test next week and we're going to really crack down and, uh, you know, get to where we need to be is, and, and run with the front boys. Absolutely fantastic. Finished third and 15th overall, so well happy with that. Moving on to Orton Park next week, second in the championship, so all is good. It's funny, another part of racing here, you know, you've got James sort of mortified with his 13th and Steve buzzing with his third, And um, but the boys done great, we brought the bikes home, it's the first time in the paddock, um, job done, really happy, super stoked actually, yeah. <laughs>